how do I, as an artist, create something that I feel is beautiful, I mean really beautiful, I'm a really good artist, and have it be received in a way that compensates me for creating it. It's two different creations. I, yeah, I get the, first you create the beautiful art, yeah. and then you create the selling of the beautiful art. First you create the art, which is a creation, then you create an environment in which it is sought after, which is another creation. Right. So when you think about what is present within you, what must be present within you in order to create the art, and then you make sure that that's present within you when you work on the other creation, then you've got it. In other words, what do you know for sure is present within you when your magnificent art flows through you? Joy. And use other words to describe it. Um, excitement, confidence, confidence um, clarity, yeah, clarity, agility, agility deafness, agility, certainty, skill, sureness. Yes, yes, all yeah. those things. And I have all of those yes, things you do. when I'm creating the well, beautiful things. So now you just have to replicate those on the other. So I'm sure when I do my art, I'm not sure when I try to sell it. I'm confident when I do my art. I'm not confident when I try to sell it. See the difference? I do see it's the difference. It's two creations. So what are you so going to do? So how do I get this one over where that one is? Well, by, first of all, by acknowledging the emotion. Our friend, we talked, we talked about this earlier, didn't we? In other words, rather than thinking about it, feeling it. And, and so now you've identified what it feels like if we were standing in your physical shoes. When we are in the mode of the creation, describe that a little bit to us. Where are you? Give us a piece of it. What's it like? Okay, I'm sitting in my studio and I have, I, I make jewelry, so I have a lot of metals and gemstones and all of the equipment that I know how to use and that I've trained myself to use over the years sitting in front of me, I have a picture in my head of exactly what I want this creation to look like, and then I suspend time, I become completely involved in what I'm doing, I... Um, all right, now think about what you're saying. It's brilliant what you're saying. So you have all of the components there, and then you form a picture of where you're going and then you suspend time meaning leave out all contradictory thought in other words you don't think thoughts like can I do it have I ever done this before what will it take it's not working out in other words you suspend all of that you create a vibrational nucleus that then allows the inspiration to act to come over you in other words, the motion of your physical apparatus is just the natural following of that kind of alignment. So now, let's step out of that creation and into the other one. So, what's the picture? You said, I have an exact picture of where I'm going. It's in my mind. Tell us what the exact picture of where you're going is with the other creation. I don't have one. Well, let's make one. In other words, so why do you make jewelry? Why would anyone make jewelry? Because I love to create beautiful things. Well, we think that's lovely. And don't you want to share beautiful things? I, I, yeah. <laughs> aren't, aren't you, especially you women, aren't you salivating for a catalog? <laughs> In other words, so what's the picture? I have this magnificent jewelry and I didn't make it to keep in my warehouse. Where would I like to see this jewelry? Close your eyes. What's the picture? Where do you want to see it? It's in a beautiful gallery. It's well displayed. Well, let's get it's... it further than that. Put okay. it on someone's neck. <laughs> Put it on some... Who's... Who's, a good idea. who's wearing it? In other words, who's wearing it? They're, they're walking down the red carpet. They've, there's a microphone being put in their face. What are you wearing, they say? Oh, this gown was made by, who cares? And this jewelry was made by... Donald McLaughlin. Yes. <laughs> And where did you find it? It's in all of the impressive galleries. And I think he has a website. Yes, he does. 
<laughs> and the creation of the jewelry and the picture that you had before it is created is no more consequential than the picture that you have just created of the it's two different creations in other words you have to spend as much time creating this picture of people all over the world enjoying not flocking to it because you don't want them to make you crazy in demand w we could get a little crazy willing to pay large numbers of dollars for the perfection of this magnificent jewelry in other words people want this and when they wear it they feel good and when they get it on their body they can feel the alignment that I found when I made it they can feel the harmony of the elements they can feel the compatibility of the vibration they they felt it when they were drawn to it it stood out to them them. they they wanted it they knew it was right it enhances their experience it gives them a greater sense of stability it makes them realize the all is wellness of the environment it makes them feel financially solid it makes them feel more beautiful it is a tool that aligns them with source itself when people view it they just feel better in looking at it it is such a picture of alignment it is such a culmination of my alignment that anyone who gazes upon it gets the benefit of the alignment that I found when I created it this is more than a beautiful uh, trinket that they wear this has value even beyond the intrinsic value of the golds and the gems that I apply to it it has the value of alignment within it I'm passing on so much more than a piece of jewelry and for that I am joyously well paid you see so you really get it because <laughs> that's what I want I mean that's that's what I do when I create and you see creator. but you see it doesn't matter when you said that just now yeah what you meant what you meant was Abraham you are like the only one who gets it besides me and what we want you and you, a few but, others but but but, but but what we want you to understand that's the picture that you want to paint in other words that's that in this other creation that we're talking about we want you to put a larger marketplace in your creation there are people all over the world who want what you have and when you put your jewelry on their bodies in your vision you put yourself in the vortex law of attraction takes care of everything else that's how you get in the vortex this vision isn't to manipulate the markets. It isn't to manipulate other people. It isn't to drag husbands to jewelry counters to make them buy. Although that always is a very nice thing. Yeah. It, 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 it isn't about that. It isn't about that. It's about you creating a vision that completes you that puts you into alignment so now think about it so you're in alignment when you create it and now you've created a vision of of the movement of it through the marketplace that you're in alignment with and now the convergence of this these two beautiful creations that you have created both of them you've created the product itself and now you've created the mechanism through which it will be distributed and you are in alignment and law of attraction will work out the details we're not kidding you one little bit you went way past hope. You went into knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.